Hey guys, I'm back today and I'm going to be doing one of the most requested videos that I've been getting lately and that is how I put my extensions in um, and my summer makeup look. So if you're interested, just keep watching, okay? Okay, so let's get started. Just for time's sake, I've already put on um, um, oil moisturizer and then I put on um, this on top. Sorry. My Stila Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer um, SPF 15 and I really like this stuff but there's not much coverage at all uh, so you if you want a lot of coverage don't get this because it's not gonna give you really a lot of coverage um, so because it's summer like I said I don't really like to wear a lot of makeup so that's all I'm wearing for that um, next I will use my Chanel Tan de Soleil that I always use and um, I'm just gonna take this Mac brush I don't know the number because it's worn off, sorry. Um, I'm just going to uh, contour my face. Um, you guys can all yell at me if you want and tell me I'm not doing it right, but this is how I do it. So. Okay. So I just keep kind of like building because I do like a lot of color. Um, I live in California, so I think having a tan is kind of like a prereq. <laughs> okay. And I always like try to get it up into my hairline so that it looks more natural. Okay, so. That's it. Okay, so then next what I've been using for summer is my um, MAC gold deposit and I love this stuff. You guys know that I don't usually like shimmery things but um, this isn't necessarily shimmery it's just like makes your face glow. It gives you like the perfect summer glow. So I'm just going to take this elf brush it was like three dollars um, I really like it for, obviously for the price point. Let's take a little bit of it and just sweep it you can see the difference right across my face and I probably wouldn't use this in the winter time just because um, it is like a very summery um, cosmetic. Um, it is a little like harsh, so I'm going to take this brush, um, it's the high definition brush from Sephora, and just kind of blend it a little bit. But that's how I do it. Um, okay, so next I'm going to take my Shea Shea LeMay that I also really, really like a lot. Ooh, I forgot to bring um, a brush for it, so I'll just use the same one that I was using for my gold deposit. Um, so here's that, and this is the one I was talking about before. It's really, really pretty. Um, the color in it, there's like so many different shimmers in it. It's not even a shimmer because I don't like shimmers. It's like a glow. That's how I describe it. Um, I've used a lot of it actually so I'm just going to take a little bit like that and I'm just going to sweep it underneath my cheek or my eye a little bit just for a more now you can see there's like two glows going on there's that really pretty white like reflective glow and there's the one from the gold deposit and I just think it looks really pretty for summer. I'm also going to take this um, with this little brush Sonia Kashuk and I'm going to take it and put it in the corners of my eyes. Okay. And I don't wear this look every day. Um, this is like if I'm going out during the day um, and I want to get dolled up, but not typically. If you don't like shimmer, um, I would still give this a try because I'm not a shimmer person at all, shimmer makeup person, but I love these products, so um, I hope that helps. Next thing I've been doing for um, summertime is using black, brown eyeliner, and I tweeted about this uh, a couple weeks ago. I have never used brown eyeliner. I'm always such like a black liquid eyeliner girl, um, like with like winged, winged eyeliner. Um, but I don't remember where I saw this. Actually, let me tell you, I know what it was. Um, I thought that I, I thought that um, Kate Kate Middleton was wearing brown eyeliner, so I wanted to give it a try. 
and I loved it. I didn't know if she was for sure, but I figured like, she looked like she was, so. It's just going to be kind of messy. Okay, so I'm not going to even put it in the corners of my eyes, or in the corner. Let me just do the next eye, and I'll be Okay, so now both of my um, eyes are done. It was just kind of like a little smudgy look with the eyeliner, brown eyeliner. Um, also, what I do wear lately is this Tarte. Um, it's like a sta lip stain, cheek stain, all in one. I haven't ever worn it with both uh, with the Shea Shea LeMay and the Gold Deposit, but I love it, so I'll try it now. Um, what I do is this, and I think that maybe you guys want to see this because I love this look. Maybe I shouldn't have put on the Shea Shea LeMay, but we'll see. So I just twist it right in my apples like that. Um, so it's like above, right above, or in my apple. And then I just brush, brush up. And just gives me like a little glow. But now there's like, and this is pretty straightforward. But this pencil, I don't know, I use this pencil all the time and I don't even know what it's called anymore because it's so small. This is my second pencil of this. If you're curious what the name is, you can go back into my other makeup tutorials. I always use the same one. That's that. Um, next is just going to be my mascara. And if you guys have been watching my um, tutorials, uh, you guys know that I do put a lot of mascara on. And I think I do it differently than uh, um, other people. But so I always focus on the out outer corners of my eyelashes. So I'll give everything, um, everything, all of my lashes, like one coat. Um, like a pretty thick coat. Try not to mark myself. Um, okay, so like that's pretty thick. I'll just wait like a couple seconds. And then I'm going to go back probably three or four times and um, focus and, or not focus, but like reapply on the outer edges. It just gives so much more of like a really pretty butterfly look. It almost looks like false eyelashes. Okay, so that's one. I'm probably going to do, it's actually, um, I don't know, this, this is like a new mascara, so um, maybe I'll only do one more after this. Um, so I'll just do it right now with you, and then I'll do the other eye, and you'll see what the whole look product, or look. <laughs> Okay, so that's what I do. I don't really put that much on the inner corner. I mean, I do, I give it like one coat, but then the, I focus more on the outer. Um, all right, so I'm gonna do the other eye and I'll be back. Okay, so now both eyes are done. Um, I did forget to tell you that I put also put um, mascara on the bottom eye, and I do like to do the same thing where I focus or reapply more on the outer edge than on the inner, okay? So then next I'm going to do um, lip gloss. And I'll show you two different looks that I've been wearing lately. It's either going to be a really nude look. And um, I think this is the same co lip color I'm wearing in my Christmas video. But um, yeah, it's the Revlon in soft nude. And so I'll just put this on here. with this on top. Actually, my mom sent this to me when I was in um, living in China, and I still have it. <laughs> so old. It's by Benefit, and it's called Don't Hear 
didn't hear it from me. Her glossiness. Okay, so that is the first look. I could find a paper towel. Just do this. Um, that's that um, for this lip color option. So, okay. Um, let me show you a different option. Okay, so that's that. The next one that I'm using is this Bobbi Brown and YSL. And this is probably more in, but it's also very dramatic. Um, everyone knows that I love this YSL. It's, I've had it since last summer, and it's uh, number 30. It's like the really peachy one. It tastes so good. Um, and then the Calypso Coral by Bobbi Brown. So what I do with this is um, just take my finger... Okay, so I just give it like a base. And then with the YSL, I'm gonna take it, just put it over. This gives a really serious, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, like a very 1970s almost like a matte, dramatic look. I'm trying to like hide the light. <laughs> okay, so that's the look, um, like my summer look. Also, if you don't like the lips, you can just leave nude lips. That gives like a very pretty um, natural look. And that's what I do during the day. Like I don't, I just put in a little bit of the gold um, deposit um, mascara and I don't put anything on my lips, maybe some chapstick or um, some really light gloss, but this is just like more summer. Anyway, so now I'm going to show you guys the hair. And I've really been stalling on this just because I, it's like very hard for me to even get videos done, and this is just a very long video. So this is what everyone's been waiting for, I feel like. <laughs> so I'm happy I can get to it. Um, this is exactly what my hair looks like out of bed. And what I do is I wash my hair at night and um, wake up in the morning and do it because I don't really ever blow dry straight my hair um, straight my hair or like blow dry it straight I guess or use an, a uh, flat iron so I need dry hair to do anything with it um, so yeah this is what it looks like and uh, it looks like a disaster so I'm going to go get my tools and my products and I'm gonna try to figure out a way to get this to go quick so that you guys can see how I do it with my extensions. And so yeah, be right back. Okay, so let's get started on the hair. I'm just gonna brush out my hair. Just a little bit. Um, then I'm going to start with the extensions. And so if you use extensions, you know that you get um, a lot in a pack. Um, probably, I think, 10... 15 pieces, I don't know, you get a lot. Um, I don't use even half. I use three or four of the strips. And I think that's where I differ from other people. When I see people who are girl, the other girls on here who put their extensions in, they use the entire pack and they use like the ones on the side and everything. But I have like a big fear about not looking natural and um, the tracks showing. Um, you know, like if you were to like move your head or something, you know, sometimes I see girls and they're. They're, they're, you know, like the extensions are actually showing and I just would rather like not even wear extensions if that was going to happen. So what I've been doing is just using a few strips and I thought maybe it was not going to be enough, but it looks fine. So maybe it's because of my layers that I have. I don't know, but it works great. Um, hopefully it'll work, you, work for you too, but what I'm going to do is use four today. And sometimes I only use three, but um, it's a more dramatic look with four. So I'm going to be using two of Heavenly extension. Um, brand and two of the ones that I bought from Sally. And if you want to know more about that, you can go into my uh, another video. I think it's like oh, outfit of the day and extensions and you can find all the information there. Um, so let me just get started and 
um, I'll show you the different little like tricks and things or different things that I do along the way. Okay, so I'm going to start and I'm going to start pretty close to um, the hairline down here, maybe about only like an inch up and make a part. Okay, so I'm just going to get that out of the way. Right. Um, I'm going to take one of Heraven Lee's first. Hers are a lot thicker, um, the quality is much better. And, um, but the color is different, is slightly different than my hair, so I want them to blend better. So I put them, I put the Extali's, um color on top of hers, so that the color blends so, really nicely. Okay, so that's the first one. Um, next one, I'm going to not go too much um, higher, I'm just maybe like an inch or half an inch above the first one that I put in. And if you guys are curious about how to put extensions in, um, there's a lot of girls who do a really great job on YouTube and you can find them. I don't really know their names actually, but I've seen. Um, okay, so next I'm going to take a Sally and put it right on the next section. Okay. Okay, like that. And notice how the colors are slightly different, but they blend really nicely together. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go maybe about a little more than an inch, like an inch and a quarter above the last one that I just did. And I'll show you why. But it's going to be still below like half, like it's below half of my head, if that makes sense. Okay, so I got my line now. And I'm going to take one of Heavenly's and one of Sally's, and I'm going to be overlapping them. So I'm going to take Heavenly's first, and flip it in. I'm going to take Sally's and put it right on top. So I'm not going to bring any hair down. I'm going to basically clip them together. And this is because I like to only keep, I like to only um, put extensions in on pretty much the bottom half of my head because this makes sh like sure that the tracks aren't going to show, the extensions or whatever aren't going to show. Um, and there's not going to be so much fake hair, even though it's, it is human hair, but so much not of my hair. Um, but it's not going to be obvious. So just put this one like right on top. I'm pretty much just clipping it, not even to um, my head. I'm cl clipping it to the actual other extension that's in my hair. Okay, so that's all I'm going to put in, just the four. And it just looks really, really natural. So I'm going to take down my hair. Give it a little brush. Okay. And I guess um my hair kind of blends well with it. I don't know why. It just kind of I don't know does. Um, I guess I have a natural curl to my hair. But okay. So I'm gonna do one side with you, and then I'm gonna do the other side alone, and I'll show you. But I'm not gonna really focus too much on curling everything, um, meaning I'm going to do like just big kind of sloppy, not sloppy curls, just messy curls. So I'm going to take big chunks, probably only three or four chunks of my hair, like large ones. Okay, so I'll start with a big chunk like this. And I'm going to be using this curling iron, and it is by Hot Tools, and I think it's like an inch and a half. And I'm going to do a quick curl. I'm not going to... Oh, I forgot, actually. I have to spray my hair. Take, I use Elnet, and I'm just going to spray my entire head with Elnet. 
because it's going to protect and it's going to um, help hold. Okay, send her back. Um, next one. I guess if you have like really straight hair um, and you put in extensions, it's going to be you're going to have to focus more on curling your hair like exactly right um, so that you can blend it all. But because I have a natural wave to my hair, I can do these kind of big random curls and it just all kind of works out. I'm just gonna just, you know, just here or there, curl, big big curls, like that. Um, the front's actually fine. I'm not gonna do the front, but you probably should um, if yours doesn't line up. Okay, so then now the top needs to be done. I did the bottom and so I'm just gonna reach like towards the top right here, see how this isn't curled. Let's give it a little brush. Just towards the bottom. I don't want it to be too fussy, you know, or too perfect. Okay. And just one here. This takes me like no time in the morning when I'm not talking to you guys on the video or just so easy. Okay, and then the last one I'm going to do right here. And I also do the front of my hair probably differently than a lot of people do. So um, after I do my the other side of my head, um, I'm going to come back and show you what I do. Okay, so that's the way it looks. And you guys know I'm probably going to brush it all out, and then I'll show you. But I'm going to do this side, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so both sides are done, but the most important part is the scent, is the middle of your head, or sorry, the middle, the um, front of your face. So what I'm going to do is I like to do a middle part that's just um, how I like to wear it. So make the part the way you like it um, and get it ready. Oh yeah, I'm just going to brush out my entire head too. So I'm going to brush out the curls. I don't want the curls to be perfect or anything. I want them to be just messy. Okay, so the front's not done. What I'm going to do is take both sides. And obviously you... Um, curl away from your face, right? Okay. There's one. There's the other. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I have a really weird pet peeve about um, just the way hair lays, and um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to blow dry my hair from here, and I've always done this. Um, I don't know if I've actually talked to you about it yet, so I'm just going to plug in my blow dryer and I'll show you what I do. Okay, so with a big um, round brush, I'm just going to take it. I'm using this blow dryer. It's T3. I've had it for a really long time. I like it a lot. It blow, blow dries your hair very, very quickly. Actually, I had it when I had really long hair, and it was so useful because my hair never dried when it was like this, like long. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hold, I'm going to hold the blow dryer above this kind of, not cowlick, but um, I don't know, mess, and it's just going to go right down. Okay, so that's like, looks perfect now. Um, then as far as my bangs, I'm just gonna blow them out back, like Farrah Fawcett. Okay, see how much better that looks? It looks so natural. Before it looked like these 
kind of structured weird curls that sat in front of your face but if you blow dry um, it just makes it so much better looking I, I don't know why it just does so that is it um, that is my summer look let me move this mirror and my things um, I'll probably put a little bit more of my lip gloss, of my lipstick on my YSL And that's it. So, um, I hope you guys like this. I hope this helps because I have been getting so many um, emails and requests to do this. So, uh, finally was able to. And I hope it works for you guys, okay? Uh, have a great week. I'll see you later.